and with us now, Dr. Mohamed Magdi, Professor and Consultant of Cardiology, Electrophysi uh, Electrophysiology, Cairo University, and Head of EP Lab, Qasim Hospital at Dubai. Hello, Doctor, how are you? Fine, thank you. And nice to see you this year. as well. Um, uh, what, what's your first impression about uh, Cardioalix this year? It's uh, always uh, very impressive when you come to Cardioalix and you see the people coming more and more. It's more growing, more uh, hot topics, and you have more physicians coming and joining, more uh, technicians, more nursing. I personally, when I'm coming uh, from the UAE, I have like lots of physicians coming from UAE abroad, mm -hmm. lots of technicians and nursing to attend this year. So you can see from the huge crowd how much uh, people are coming interested in the scientific material in this meeting. So this is, uh, this is very important because the more people attending the meeting, it gives you the impression how it's scientific and what is its value. Okay. What are you going to present, to present this year? Did you present something or you're going to present? Uh, actually, just two hours ago, we presented a very hot topic in all over the world mm. right now, which is the smallest pacemaker available worldwide. Uh, for uh, for all people, they know the traditional pacemaker, the conventional way that we use to have surgical incision here in this area, and it's like five centimeter incision. It's like a mini surgical incision, and we have a battery with wires. We put the wires inside the heart, we fix the wire inside the heart, and then we put the battery. But of course, it has some uh, concerns and potential complications. So actually, what I present today is something called the leadless pacemaker. It's the smallest pacemaker. It's less than one centimeter. I can show it here. Also, we ha I have it in my hand. It's a very small device. Mm -hmm. This is the device that we are having here. And uh, this device can last for up to 12 years mm -hmm. without any surgery. And the procedure takes only 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we can do it from the femoral axis from the leg. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's a 15 minutes procedure without any scar, without any wound, and it can last up to 12 years. So this is very innovative technology, and it's very quite new technology as well. Okay. Uh, when to implant left erythrium uh, appendage uh, occlusion? This question is highlighted as well because the problem that we are facing, lots of patients having the problem is of atrial fibrillation. And atrial fibrillation, we have to take anticoagulation, but some of the patients, they cannot relate anticoagulation. Uh, they have bleeding, they have GI bleeding, they have eye bleeding. So the problem is, if you stop the anticoagulation, they will have strokes. If you give them anticoagulation, they will bleed. Mm -hmm. This is where you can provide them with something called the appendage occlusion. All the studies show that this appendage in the left atrium mm -hmm. is responsible for 90% of strokes. If you occluded this appendage, you're decreasing the, the stroke by 90%. So this is a category of patients where we uh, appreciate so much if they were referred to us and we occlude the appendage to save them from bleeding and prevent stroke as well. Okay, and what is the latest technology in peacemakers? Uh, the latest technology now that's coming soon, I think this will be released within the next six months or one year. Instead of having only this leadless pacemaker in one chamber, we will have two leadless in the same patient, one in the atrium, one in the ventricle. So we will have a DDD pacemaker in, uh, without wires, uh, communicating in a special unique way within the patient. So this is coming, I think, maybe within the next coming year. Now we have only this one, which can pace only the ventricle, Soon we will have one in the atrium, one in the ventricle, so we will have two chamber leadless pacemaker device. Okay, thanks a lot, doctor. You're, You're nice welcome. to see you today.